let's try and go eat inside of Finnegan's. Let's get our St. Patrick's Day on. I just caught a glimpse of that sound check. Oh, that sounds so good. So this is something new since literally the last time I was here. Um, they have this whole area blocked off right next to Starbucks and then going into Transformers. Tonight, on the main stage in Music Plaza, Zed will be performing. What is up everybody, it's Josh and welcome to a brand new journey and welcome to another video. Today we are bringing back another OG style Journey with Josh video. We are here at Universal Orlando Resort it is a hot one today, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It says it's 80, but there's a breeze and it feels like it's 100. Ah, but we're here, you know, Florida, springtime. It's supposed to be pretty, but it's hot. Pollen's in the air, my allergies are killing me. <laughs> but anyways, we are here at Universal today to do some more Mardi Gras. We didn't get to do much the last time we were here because we got here a little bit late, but I wanna try some more food. I want to get in the feel of Mardi Gras just a little bit more because we only have like two, three more weeks left. So there's not much time left. Um, it's a busy one today. Not only is it a Sunday, not only is it going into the spring break season, but tonight on the main stage in Music Plaza, Zed will be performing. I'm excited. I love Zed. You guys know that I was just here for DJ Khaled. So EDM. DJs, all that type of stuff is all me. So, without further ado, and doing all this yapping, if you guys are ready to go on this fun-filled, food-filled, entertainment-filled, music, dance-filled journey, well, let's go. Also, I don't know how I forgot, but today is St. Patrick's Day. So we're gonna see a bunch of green in the air, we're gonna see a bunch of green floating around. So with that, I think we're gonna go to Finnegan's at some point today. I don't know, get a Guinness, get some Irish style food. Just have a good time today. Like in the last video when I was here, I have no exact plan. Just kinda kinda go with the flow and hope to entertain you a bit. I hear them uh, doing sound check for Zed right now. Beats bumping, sounds great. Man, I just caught a glimpse of that sound check. Oh, that sounds so good. I cannot wait to be over there on that field. Just dancing, singing along. I've seen Zed four times, so this will be number five for me. And he hasn't disappointed me at all, so I don't see tonight being a disappointment. I see it being a fun time, exhausting time. But with that being said, let's go try some food. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten much today, so. Let's go. Here's my issue. I just don't know where to start. Like, with food festivals around Universal, I never know where to start. So I think I'm just headed towards like the back over in Hollywood by the tribute store. I think that's my best option. So I was told by Carlos at Cool K's Adventures to come over to Puerto Rico and try some stuff. I don't know how to say any of this, so I'm not even going to try to say it, but we're going to get a few things and see how I like it. So I ended up getting the pasta alone. I probably said that wrong, I'm sorry. It's a layered casserole of sweet plantains, picadillo beef topped with a dom cheese. I don't know, it looks pretty good. I had to run around to try to find a seat, so it may be a little cold, so I'm not gonna go off of that. <laughs> I literally, I didn't see happen. Oh, that's actually really, really good. I enjoy that a lot. I didn't know how the plantain with the beef was gonna be, but it's sweet and savory all in one. I enjoy this a lot. I totally recommend this. Thank you, Carlos, for recommending this. And I'm sorry if I butchered it. Don't yell at me. It was really good though. I would totally get it again. So this is something new since literally the last time I was here. Um, they have this whole area blocked off right next to Starbucks and then going into Transformers. But also, they once again have drained the lagoon. And it looks like they're working out in the center once again to get ready for this new water show. 
That's crazy. I just thought this was underwater not too long ago. But there's some crates. Yeah, it's coming along. Can't wait to get an announcement. There you go, come on. Alrighty, let's try and go eat inside of Finnegan's. Let's get our St. Patrick's Day on. I know it's gonna be busy. All right, so people ask me what a perk is of coming to the theme parks alone. It's trying to get into a really popular restaurant on St. Patrick's Day, not having a reservation and kind of just winging it. I didn't have a reservation for Finnegan's and they said I may only have to wait about 20 to 30 minutes to get a table because I'm alone. If not, I was gonna have to wait till like later tonight, which I don't have that time because I have Zed tonight. So, perk, you can kind of squeeze your way through things and get stuff done. That's all I'm saying. So, we're just gonna wait around, kind of chill, and then get a table, eat at Finnegan's, and go wait in line for the concert tonight. <laughs> they stuck me like in the window corner seat. Like, I'm literally shoved in a corner, but it's okay, at least I'm here, right? Ended up going with the Newcastle Irish Chicken. It's herb soda bread and doubler cheese coated chicken breast. It comes with a Colcannon mashed potato, corn and tomato succotash, and then it, it has a creamy apple butter. It smells great, looks delicious. I'm just ready to dive in. I don't know if I've ever had succotash before, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I don't know how well this mic is doing because it is loud. So let's hope you can hear me. If not, then I'm just talking to myself. I'm gonna try. Let's do the potatoes and apple butter. At least I think that's what I'm doing. Oh. That was a really strong bite. Okay, let me try that again. That was just like off guard. for me because I don't think I actually know what I'm eating that's like a really sour gravy is what it tastes like let me try it yeah it's like sour the potatoes are really good super creamy this gravy is good but it's sour I don't know if I just don't know what I'm talking about or eating um, but yeah those are good Let's move on to the second tash. I'm probably not gonna like this, so I don't know. Okay, everything good? Really good. Oh, more green. Thank you. Now I got more green. I'm safe. Oh, no, it's good. You know, it's like, it's like if I just put a bunch of vegetables on a grill and grill them up. Yeah, I like that. Dive into the main course here. The chicken. Oh, that's perfect. That's solid. Super juicy, not dry. The crust, amazing. But, well, I'd say that was pretty good. I devoured that in like 10 minutes. I was hungry, but also it was really, really good. So we have like four more hours to kill till Zed hits the stage, but I mean, look at our view. Dead center. Like, this is amazing. This is better than DJ Khaled. It'll be so worth it. An eternity later.
for a lighter. Can I please ask you guys to raise those lights up all the way to the back? And all you guys in the sides, I can see all of you. If I can please ask you guys to raise those stars up high right now all together, please. Well, that was phenomenal. I had a fantastic time. As you can tell, I got some, some new jewelry. Um, we're gonna get out of the park, out of the mess. I'm gonna finish up my video out there, but I ain't trying to walk through all this and vlog all at the same time. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it from us here at Universal Orlando Resort. I had a blast. Um, I'm sorry, once again, the vlog was just kind of all over the place and I kind of had set ideas for things and then didn't really do them. Like, I was supposed to try more Mardi Gras food, but we ended up getting lucky and got in two Finnegan's for St. Patrick's Day. So we got to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Finnegan's here at Universal. We got to meet up with some friends and made some new friends. Um, also, we got to rock out in Music Plaza with Zed. I mean, look, I had a party, I had a blast. I mean, Zed killed it. I've seen him four times. This is my fifth time. I have never been disappointed, ever. So I highly recommend seeing him if you get the chance. Um, like I said, I know the vlog was kind of all over the place. I'm just here to have fun. I, I'm tired of being the vlogger that has specific things to do all the time. I just want to show off my life and have fun and be somewhat normal. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I have a long drive back home, an hour and a half, uh, back towards Tampa. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you uh, enjoyed the concert just as much as I did. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, I'll see y'all in the next journey. Peace.